All right, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to find the formula for the surface area of the sphere. Um, so, first we're going to start off with a little picture. Got to go little because we need more room for this one, so you just get a stupid little picture. Uh, this is your sphere, and we're going to be finding the surface area. I don't know how to show that. Surface area. So, we're going to start back with the same equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared for a circle. And we're going to solve that for y, giving y equals square root of r squared minus x squared. y prime for that is, you can think of this as to the negative one half, right? Negative one half. So you can drop that down, so it's over 2r squared minus x squared. And then on top we have negative 2x. And then the 2's cancel, so you just have negative x over square root of r squared minus x squared. And we're going to be plugging that into the formula, which is uh, surface area equals 2 pi integral from a to b of f of x times square root of 1 plus f prime of x dx. Okay, so let's plug it in. s equals, uh, actually we're going to do a little trick, just like last video, this is r, this is negative r. We're going to take it from 0 to r and double it. So we have 2 times 2 pi integral from 0 to r. Uh, f of x is this original function, so square root of r squared minus x squared. And then we have 1 plus f prime. So, oh, f prime squared, I guess. Uh, so we have negative x over square root of r squared minus x squared. And that's going to be squared. dx, apologies for being so small, I'm just scared of running out of room. So we have 4 pi integral of 0 to r, square root of r squared minus x squared, times, let's get a common denominator and square that out at the same time. So this squared is going to be uh, x squared over r squared minus x squared, and then common denominator for this would be, we want r squared minus x squared, so since it's 1, r squared minus x squared, dx. So look at this, you have minus x squared plus x squared, so those cancel out. So you have 4 pi. A lot of calculus is just rewriting the same stuff, but you got to keep track of it all. r squared minus x squared times, um, I'm going to split up the radicand. So we have square root of r squared over square root of r squared minus x squared, right? dx. We'll check it out. These two cancel, and that's as simple as r. So 4 pi integral of 0 to r of r dx. Really simple from here, you get 4 pi rx evaluated from 0 to r, and so that gives, I'll give an equal sign, so that gives uh, 4 pi, you get r squared minus 0 when you plug in the 0, and you guys can see how that works out, 4 pi r squared, and that is the formula for surface area of a sphere, derived using calculus. Have a good day!